Okay, welcome back to vlog number three. Uh, today I want to take a little tour through Funner Bell Park. I want to just show you, uh, maybe I want to take some videos of some street vendors, speak to them a bit, maybe interview them a bit. But uh, I want to actually fix my tablet. Take a look at my tablet. Not looking good. So I want to take my tablet to a cell phone repair shop. See how much we will cost to, to uh, how much we charge to fix it. And then yeah, then I'll walk around and just show you a bit of Funner Bell Park. And I'll uh, maybe give you a little history of uh, Funner Bell Park itself and how it came to be. Okay, great stuff. So I'll see you later. Okay, I'm back. Okay, my son's with me. Tyrone. We'll take a stroll through Funner Bell Park. Um, but just something I want to read to you quickly. The history of Funner Bell Park and how it became to be what it is. It's somewhat 95,000 95, inhabitants or population, or should I should rather say. But yeah, let me let me quickly read it to you. Right, named after Hendrik van der Bell, an electrical engineer and industrialist, van der Bell Park is home or to van der Bell Park Steel, previously part of Eastport, South African Iron and Steel Corporation. Now part of a global company, Axler Metal, with neighboring towns Jenigen and Sasselburg, it forms the Foul Triangle, a major industrial region of South Africa, located in the district municipality of Cedarburg and local, local municipal of Umfeleni. Uh, in 1920, Dr. Hendrik van der Bell, a young South African electrical engineer working in the United States at the time, was called back to South Africa by then Prime Minister Jan Smuts to the government and the plan of South Africa. By then Prime Minister was called back Jan Smuts to advise <laughs> to advise government in planning of South Africa's industrial development. By Hendrik van Bell oversaw the Iron and Steel Corporation first plant at Pretoria, but with the increased demand of World War II, was brought to build large steelworks in modern town. The steelworks began operating in 1947, and the town was proclaimed in 1949. The town was changed in 1952. So yeah, there you have it. That's the history. Of Funner Bell Park. Okay, this is the McDonald's. I'm trying to hold this thing still. McDonald's in Funner Bell Park. Hey, I'm not getting any number plates in. Alright, cut for now. This is the shopping center here, which is by the McDonald's. See McDonald's. Trying so hard not to get the number plates in there. Laws of courtyards of Funner Bell Park. Okay, let's cross the road. Uh. This is the police station of Funner Bell Park. Yes. Watch on. I'm trying to. This used to be a, a shop that could sell uh, fixed computers, isn't it? But with the economy in South Africa being so bad, this is just it. Shops open and close. Six months, seven months, and then they just close. There's another one empty. Yeah, it's sad. It's sad to see what's happening in front of Bell Pocket. Another shop empty. Same shop. Empty, empty. Hang 
gonna go into the cell phone shop. Obviously, I can't take the camera in. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see if time, my son Tyrone can hold the cell phone in his hand while I speak to the guy to get my phone repaired myself. Yes, I don't want to work. Jason, 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 I'm gonna get my tablet fixed for 280. It's got to put a brand new screen on it. You know, this is the thing about the beauty about Tana Bell Park. Eh? You come into town itself, you get things done for cheaper. If you go to a cell phone shop like Vodacom or South CK, sorry, I'm saying that, but they're gonna charge you like 600, anything between 600 and 700 to fix that screen. This cell phone shop in Tana Bell Park is gonna charge me 280. 280 rand. Hey, what more can I ask for? Well, this is one of the fruit and veg stands you get in Tana Bell Park. You get a lot of them around you. Uh, we got a young boy here. Eh? His name is, what's your name, son? Safisu. 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 How long you been doing this? Selling, selling fruit and veg. Hey? So, no, no, I'm asking how long have you done this? Selling fruit and veg. Selling fruit and veg. Yeah, for how many years? Two years, three years? One year. One year. Jobs are tough in South Africa, eh? Ma? Jobs are tough. Yes. The jobs are hard to come by, eh? Sure. Yeah, so one has to do things to make money, to sell money. And what Safis is doing here is excellent. I mean, look at his produce. He's got nice apples. He's got nice notches, eh? He's got nice tomatoes. His bananas look great. He even sells acha. And you know, the locals in South Africa, eh, we love our acha. Eh? Acha is awesome. Hey, Safisu. Yes. Acha is awesome, eh? Yes. Yeah, sharp. Okay, Savizu, thanks, my man. Appreciate it, eh? Just get that in the camera. Okay. Thanks, my man. Cheers, take it easy. I'm here by another vendor where you can see um, there's a man here by the name of Charles. I'm going to introduce you to him now. He sells socks and over there he sells watches and hats. And yes, Charles. Charles, how are you? I'm fine. All right, but how long have you been in South Africa now? Yeah, six years. Six years. Are you from, you said you were from Kenya, eh? Yes. It's tough out there, eh? Yeah. It's tough. I mean, what can we do? We have to travel around to, to support our families, am I right? Yeah. I mean, the money the money that you make here, it goes back to Kenya to support your family. Yeah, I support them. I mean, I, I don't know what the economy is like in Kenya, but yeah, I suppose a lot of countries in Africa, the economies are bad. But Charles Lacker, man, appreciate what you're doing. I mean, everybody's going to make business. Thanks, my man. Was lucky. He's a car guard here in front of Bell Park. Lucky are you, man? I'm good, and you? All right, man. Tell me quickly, how long have you been doing this car guarding? Almost three months. Three months now. Yeah. And it's tough, eh? It's tough. It's tough. I mean, I know I'm in the security business myself, and it's and oh, where I work yes. with car guards, and it's so I know exactly. But you in town, and it's different in town. <coughs> in town, you you don't really have somebody to report. Do you report to somebody? No, no, no. Okay, so it's tough, eh? How much do you make per day, roughly? I, it's not the same, but at least a day I can make hundred. Or a hundred and something. No, no, it's not the same. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. You get your bad days and you get yeah. But that's all right. I mean, with jobs being so bad as it is, you have to, what? I mean, it's, you have to make ends meet to survive, to feed your family. I mean, you've got kids, eh? No, no. You don't have kids. But you got a wife? Uh, it's a girlfriend. It's not a girlfriend. Wife. Still. Yeah. And you need to feed her too. You need to look after yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but lucky, lucky. Thanks, my man. I wish you all the best of luck, my man. Okay, thank you. Take it easy, eh? Okay. And just keep on looking after the cars. Do what you do, eh? Okay. And remember, it's about customer service. Okay. The, the good you are with your customer service, the people like you and they give you good tips. Okay. Thank okay. You. Shop, my man. Thank you. Alrighty, and that comes to the end of my vlog, vlog number three. It's been great. I enjoyed it. A couple of interesting things. We spoke to some people at vendors, like I said earlier. My last one, I spoke to a car god. I didn't plan this. This was just something out of the blue. Say hello, Tyrod. Hello. Okay, now I'm using the selfie stick with the wide view lens again. Awesome stuff as I like this. It looks like somebody's filming me. But they're actually not. Hey, it's actually, the stabilizer's not bad, eh? It's actually stable. Um, yeah, please. 
like my channel subscribe to my channel I want to do a couple of interesting things once a week at least this will be like my first it's not actually a vlog if you wanted it's maybe more like a documentary um, that was great it was fun there's some more interesting things I want to do give time everything Rome wasn't built in seven days I will get there eventually I'm not a professional filmmaker it's more of a hobby not actually I want to try and see if I can make a career out of this so yeah guys thank you very much appreciate it leave a description down in the description box if you like if you like my video like to hear from you guys cheers eh? cheers Aye. Switch off this thing. Eh?